uh, David, so we keep coming to you last and we'll come to you first next time. No problem. I hope it's an easy question. Um, <laughs> the, you, your, your question started with uh, the impact of uh, the uh, imposed rent reductions for L&Q uh, that took £75 million pounds out of our income every year. Um, for the sector, it was £1.3 billion. Pounds. So these are really big numbers. And, uh, and I think it did cause the sector to step back and reflect on, on how we could maintain our service uh, in the face of these massive reductions uh, in our income. Uh, I can't say how others uh, responded, but um, in our case, uh, we had to take another look at our void standard. And during those years, we couldn't decorate every room as we might have done before. We couldn't fit the kitchen in the same way that we might have done before. And therefore, uh, we would have to repair the existing kitchen uh, when it was probably uh, beyond its useful life. We had to look again at the contract between the resident, the tenant, and l &Q. And on many occasions, uh, because we are a charity, uh, we offered more than the contract, but because our rents were being reduced, we had to get closer to uh, the contract. Um, and I think it also caused us to delay some of those difficult decisions when it came to investment in our more challenging stock, our more challenging uh, estates as well. So it did have, a, I think, uh, an impact upon the quality of our service, as much as we tried to maintain the same service levels. And our, our response was, let's do what we can well but it won't be as much as we could do before. Um, we did some good things, um, and so uh, in a similar way to Gita and colleagues, we bought our maintenance service in-house, and, and I totally agree with what, what Gita said. It's a merry-go-round. Your, your selector maintenance contractor, they'll be great for a while, and then they'll chase the next contract, and you'll notice a dip in service levels. You'll challenge them. It'll improve for a while, and then it'll get worse, and so you'll get another contractor and go, go. It's just the same merry-go-round. You're just stuck on it. And so we bought our service in-house. We cheaply transferred people from maintenance contractors. They're delivering a better service at a lower cost, and they are far happier because they're working for a company that cares, that can offer them a career.